So in this video I'm going to teach you, show you how to log into your virtual media router. And I've got the version 3, 3.0 hub is it? So you just need a computer or tablet or even your phone if you want to use your phone with a browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, whichever one takes your fancy. Go to the, make sure you're connected to your internet first. Go to the browser and type in 192.168.0.1 and press enter and get five or ten minutes it'll come on now your password your password is located on the bottom of your router so you need to grab your router pick it up turn it upside down and get the password normally I'd just recommend using your phone and just taking a picture Saves you running up and down, picking your router up to remember the password. And then put your password in and log in. And then once you log logged in, you'll get your welcome page, yay! Now the first thing I'd recommend anybody is go to your admin page and change your password. Because somebody could, your family, friends, visitors could come in your house, lift your router up, and get the password and just mess around with your internet it's up to you you can change it if you want um, if you do change the password and you find you can't log in afterwards try the old password again if that doesn't work then you're gonna have to look on YouTube and learn how to reset it I think you hold the button down for five seconds then the second thing I recommend doing is advanced settings wireless signal channel now for this next bit you're going to need an Android phone and you're going to need the app Wi-Fi Analyzer and you are going to look on the AP access list on that and find a clear nice Wi-Fi channel because everybody's router will be set on auto and everyone's fine for channels and then change it to manual and find a clear channel as you can see I've gone with four now if um, you've still got a lot of old devices that run 2.4 gigahertz and you need a lot of bandwidth then just pop this to 20-40 megahertz and you get more bandwidth luckily I've only got a tablet on 2.4 so I'll just leave it at 20 and then for your 5 gigahertz put that to manual as well and normally there's not many 5 gigahertz routers about so you can put it anywhere past 100 and you're good um, if you need more bandwidths, like more people connecting, same again. Pick which one you want. That's fine for me. I only use it for my phone. And that's that done. Uh, let's have a look. Guest networks. I don't have on. Um, you can create a guest network, and it's it don't allow people to see other computers on your network. If you think they're gonna hack you. WPS. Well, people can just push a button on your router and connect to your internet without you knowing. Or they can just look on bomb at router and use the pin. So I've disabled this and they have to ask me for a password. Um, let's have a look. That's um, all the main things you should know to change on your router. Need any more help or anything? Comment. And also sub. But if you don't want to see any of my notifications then don't turn it on or turn it on whichever i hope that's helped you out see you later bye